Oh, wait, we're on. <laughs> Rosh is busy talking to me. But anyway, yes, so DJ E doing his thing on the ones and twos. You're watching the trend. The hashtag is here, Amina. And I'm here with Miss Universe Kenya 2021, hey. Rosh Anara Ibrahim. Hi, Rosh. Hey, How are thank you? you for pronouncing that right. I'm good. People must really butcher it. Hey, Sanda. What, what do they call you? Anything oh, my anything? God. I've heard it all. Fuck, I'm like, <laughs> Mama, <"Mamangu alifanya nini?" laughs> Like, she could have just given me a simpler name. What does it mean? But you know what? I love my name. It means eternal light. It means light of the assembly. So I feel like it really, okay. it really does resonate with who I am. Yeah. And I think it's a unique name. So I can, you know, put on my, my Google alerts. And every time my name comes up, it's usually me. So. Yeah. And also, <laughs> if, you know, I, I don't know anyone who's called Rosh. Right? So it's a unique name. <laughs> it is. So there is no, it, it, you, have you ever met someone called Roshanara? I have. You have? One other person oh, in South so Africa, cool. which was so interesting because she's such a sweetheart as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, <laughs> last time we were here, this is so interesting, you were Miss Kenya. I was. And now you're Miss Universe. Now I am. <laughs> How, I mean, did you always know that you wanted to do pageants? I always did. For me, pageantry, you know, the modeling industry has always been a deep, deep passion for me. My first show was in Bombolulu you know, with like the women artisans and it was just really exciting. My mom took me there the first time and, you know, just watching these girls, their stage presence, you know, how they're able to choreograph art and beauty with their, you know, their auras and their bodies is just so beautiful. And then even before that, playing with my Barbie dolls that I used to get, you know, the Miss Worlds and the Miss Universes, and then growing up with their stories of empowerment and how they've held space for so much change has been, you know, so inspiring and mm -hmm. it's led me here. So this is how many years of you doing this actively? Wow, as long as I can remember all my life. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I'm absolutely not. When did it start paying? Um, it really started paying for me after I started law school. So it was in first year of law school that I won Mr. Miss University of Nairobi and then Mr. Miss Universities and that's when I got scouted for um, Swahili Fashion Week in Tanzania and I just blew up since then. I've been traveling internationally and it's, it's just really exciting. Why did they take your crown for Miss Kenya? What had happened and if it's something that you can even... Oh no, of course. I feel okay. like I'm way beyond that now and um, you know since then whatever happened was very tragic but it's shaped the human being that I am today and it's you know allowed me to come across even more you know zealous and passionate about my direction in life. Mm. So what happened was, you know, as a little girl fell in love and unfortunately or fortunately, um, he wasn't very aligned with my goals and dreams and he sent images to the Miss, Uni Miss World franchise, sorry, and that sort of led to me being stripped of my title. Why though? Why do they need to strip you? I mean, if someone sends, it's a jilted lover, he's upset for whatever reason, and he has these pictures or videos. What does that have to do with the crown? You know, I mean, I mean, it's an uh, unfortunate thing to absolutely. happen. Absolutely. Like, they should be feeling bad for you. I hear you. And I think, you know, this, this is quite, you know, something that I've never really been able to understand, you know, because coming from a space where, you know, there's a sisterhood, there's women empowerment, it could have been an internal issue, which was then made public and from then on you know I ended up in court because I needed to protect my dignity to protect as a woman you understand this when your pictures are at risk of going public the only thing I could do was file for an injunction and that led me to winning the first um, precedent for revenge porn in Kenya and so luckily I saved my story um, which is advice I would give every girl, you know, every woman going through something like this is, you know, if you're being threatened, make sure that you, you do seek for legal refuge because it is possible. And then after I went on still to model in South Africa, I've been, you know, very, very grateful for how the journeys unfolded and from there to New York and Canada and you know, wrote my first book, which is really exciting. And coming back home to, you know, 
challenge myself again and you know despite not knowing what would come up you know how the media would respond because they weren't too nice to me last time and you know even today if we look at it you know the media still says dethroned beauty queen crowned miss universe you know it's i feel like the narrative it's time for it to change yeah you know and we need to empower each other and this is a huge platform the miss universe stage is a hundred million dollar production it's going to be aired live on fox and telemundo so it's such such a huge honor to be representing Kenya on such a huge stage and I would love more patriotism and mm. you know support on that front especially now that voting channels are open yeah I, yeah. I feel really bad that that's how they are you know they that's the title that they would use it's been many years since since it's been so six much years since. absolutely like, what are we still talking about here i like, hear you it's almost like referring to larry as former host of the no like now he's he has, a cnn he's now doing his thing. you like, know what just i mean title it like that yeah um, so you've mentioned a book what's it called it's called beyond the darkness i wish i brought it today oh you even wrote like it's oh yeah printed, it's like, actually yeah it's printed it's in textbook center Westgate, um, Educate Yourself, it's on Amazon, it's on Kindle. It's called Beyond the Darkness and it's the strategic guide to the new earth. So it's all about, you know, coming from a scarcity mindset into abundance, moving from trauma to fulfillment, moving from, you know, not really understanding yourself and not being truly conscious about what your purpose is to stepping into your power and being able to achieve your dreams. It's mm. the law of attraction. Oh, okay. Manifestation is what we're discussing in this I book. love it. Okay. Yes. Coming into yourself. Um, now, you did law. I did. Never practiced, uh, practiced it. I did initially. Okay. Not, not, I didn't go to KSL, so I didn't graduate from the bar. Oh, okay. But I still feel like, you know, my law degree has come in handy as far as entrepreneurship is concerned, as far as, you know, torts and um, contracts is concerned as far as consultation is concerned and business development. So it's still, you know, an asset that, that I use. Mm, especially when it comes to signing deals. Exactly. And going through those contracts. Important, yes, sure. very important. Yeah. Now you've talked about traveling. You are traveling yet again. So this is in Israel. Yes, yes? that's where the finals are being held in Eilat. Interesting location for sure. A very interesting location. Very I'm like, that's interesting where they're location. doing the event yeah. <laughs> in Israel. I'm sure they have Israel. a very good reason for it, but you know, it's very politicized at the moment, and you know, I still stand firmly by the rights and freedoms of the Palestinian people, and I feel like you know, I'm definitely against you know the gross hum humanitarian issues going on on that side, but. You know, I'm sure the Miss Universe franchise has a good reason for hosting us in Israel, and I'm excited to find out more. I love how politically correct she is. <laughs> yes, Rush. Okay, so now you want the support of Kenyans. I would love what, that. Look at the camera. What do you want them to do? Tell them. I think right now the most important thing is to vote. So download the Miss Universe app and vote Kenya or go to www.missuniverse.com, check out the delegates and vote. And this is really exciting. You could also go on Instagram and follow me at Roshanara Love and all the other social media platforms have me at, as Roshanara Love as well. Mm -hmm. Your brand you. is actually Roshanara Love. Yes, it is. <laughs> Despite everything you've been through, you constantly just want to share love Absolutely. and Absolutely. I mean, that's so important, you know, because the world can be such a dark place. Mm. And if you allow trauma and the victim mindset to define who you are, then you're limiting your full potential. And I refuse to be identified as that. I, you know, made it my life mission, especially, you know, since I went through everything that I went through that I definitively want to be known as a force for good. I want to use this platform as a force for good, you know, pushing agendas like sustainable living, organic eating, sustainable fashion, conscious fashion, working with nurturing the environment because through nurturing the environment, we're nurturing ourselves. So working with kids, tree planting, we're going to Mombasa to work with um, and endorse women who are harvesting seaweed as you know a nutritional alternative we're working with so many different projects in kenya and i feel like this is everything i've been preparing for so i feel so grateful for all this purpose and responsibility and it's just such an honor. Yeah, and now you get to represent the country, Absolutely. which you've done before. I didn't get How? to the global oh, you didn't platform get to, before. Oh, okay. I didn't. But you so know what this you do? My first time. You have the poise. 
you have the candence. Thank you. I love how you present and carry yourself. I appreciate I think you. you stand a great chance. Can I'm you excited. Yes, let's do it. Let's do you've, it. Let's I feel pray. like you have genuinely very beautiful standing. Look at Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I'm just like, I shouldn't have eaten. I shouldn't have before this interview. Like, I wish I, I did. <laughs> oh, you didn't. That's exactly oh. what I said to you backstage. Is there food? Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, there's food. You and I did go. go. Oh, you ate. Oh, okay. Guys could, guys could finish. Um, real quick. This is going to be a gruesome, very difficult, um, you know, couple of days for you before the 12th of December, which is when I know it's going to be broadcasted. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you do once you get there? Like, what are the activities? What do they line up for you? Because the boot camp is very difficult, I understand. Absolutely. But I think at the global level, we're beyond boot camp now. So it's about being a global goodwill ambassador, making sure that you're putting your country on the highest platform and you know shining the highest light on it making sure that people see you know what we have in our country Mombasa the beaches Diani you know Malindi Watamu Lamu show them you know Masai Mara show them the national park in you know the city Nairobi is the only city with a national park within its vicinity so I've been shooting a lot of content making sure that you know I'm showcasing the best of Kenya as well as, you know, integrating all my causes into this movement. And, you know, it's also 16 days of fashion, so making sure I'm working with the best um, fashion designers, the best everyone that we have, and making sure, you know, to, to create a platform for all of us to be seen and to grow. All right. Well, I wish you all of the very Thank best. Thank you. I'm really I wish excited. you all the best. May you come back with that crown. Oh, amen. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> because you got what it takes. Trust Thank me, you. Rush, you do. All right. So now we're about to take a short break. Before we do that, Osoro, what are people saying online on Twitter? The hashtag is Hey Amina. What are people saying? Amina. Yes. Mbiyamono. Mbiyamono. Kabisa pale kwenye mtandao. Watu wanasema, oh my goodness, to, we can make a very nice couple. I think that is what I'm getting. Paka na Juliza. Hey! <laughs> Kwani, guys, you can't keep up na hii handsomeness yote. Oh, you are coupling me up, coupling me up. Sasa nitaenda wapi nitafanya nini. But anyway, kila mutu watu wanafraia kazi ambayo mwanadata anafanya. And of course, comparing the works I do out here, Amina, you can bear me witness that we can take this country to... Uh, the next level. I mean, I, I just need your nod. Nivo, I'm an actual. Osoro, uta to represent wapi? Uta to represent wapi? Yamono, I mean, I'm Yamono, Kabisa Pare Konyam Tandao. Meme challenge, Palendi on Ashanga. Hey, Reo, Akuna, Akuna, Pare, Siwa on Jessie, Siwa on Jessie, Wadao, and Asema Nini, so to Nanza now. Uyu, to Nanza now, who you and Bayan Asema, eh, Pare Konya, hashtag meme challenge. Wakikata kutupea namba alafu waone ukiingia kwa bima. <laughs> Biamono kabisa Biamono. I think hata hata wakikuona kwa bima bado wako. Oh, bado watu wingi. Bado watu wingi. Eh so Biamono kabisa Biamono kabisa tukisonga eh, tuko na huyo Chepkuri anasema eh, enjoying the show from Njoro Nakuru hapa Divine Millers Jokerio we are locked. We are locked. Alafu, of course, tuko na tosh maina nasema maneibawa kikusikia ukiambia dem ni wewe tu. <laughs> and I think that is why nafanya PD nisiai kuwa na majirani kwa maisha yangu. <laughs> Mbia mono kabisa. Mbia mono amina. Mbia mono right. amina. Thank you very much, Osoro. Thank you so much. We've got Watenda Wheelie coming up right after the break. You do not want to go nowhere. If you've got any questions, send them through at the Trend Live on Twitter. To Tassidia in like two minutes. Don't go anywhere. We're, we're going to be back. We're going to be back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.